Eric Lilligren, Fox News. From America's leading news network, you're on the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. Time for the top of the news. The parents of a kidnapped Missouri boy say he's ready to go back to school, but they're not ready to let him go back. 13-year-old Ben Ownby was rescued on Friday along with another teenage boy who'd been missing for four years. A train derailment causing a huge explosion in fire near Louisville, Kentucky. Emergency workers say the train was carrying potentially toxic chemicals, but it should be safe to let the fire burn itself out. Sleet, snow, and freezing rain making for a mess from Maine to Texas. Almost 50 deaths blamed on the storm, which is making roads dangerous and knocking out power to hundreds of thousand people. And for that, we have bonus coverage now. Arzo Dos live in Johnson City, Texas, on the top story at the bottom of the hour. Arzo. Hey there, you know, we've been dealing with the ice for the past 24 hours, but nothing like today. Take a look at this 18-wheeler. It's completely covered in ice. And today, we got some snow here in the hill country, and right now, we're getting some sleet. And as I mentioned, people here just bracing for another round of this and really just wanting all of this to move out. Now, we're about 40 miles away from Austin, and Austin is dealing with the similar situation. A lot of the flyovers there have been closed because the biggest concern the Department of Transportation is having is that they're running out of sanding and de-icing material. As far as here in the hill country, there have been some hundreds of homes without power tonight, and that's because of the weather. The power, we're told, should be restored within the next few hours. TechSat crews here, the Department of Transportation, telling us they're going to be monitoring the roads, the major highways around the clock. And as far as the hill country goes, where we're at in Johnson City, they're not having any major concerns because really people have been listening to what they've been saying and staying home. And that's the biggest advice with all of this, just everyone urged to stay home. The next few hours expect it to be like this, more sleet and more snow. We're here in Johnson City. Arzo Dos, Fox News. Arzo, thanks. He says Iraq's government has still got some maturation to do. That's a quote from President Bush as he commented on the execution of Saddam Hussein and his two top aides for that matter. The president says he's disappointed and that it feels like the Iraqi government fumbled Saddam's execution. 